Your final day in prison, what was that like for you? Man, I was just like so ready to go. Like I, I had a job. While I was working there, I used to go to work at like 4 in the evening and get back at like 2, 3 in the morning. So it was like, you know, um, my girl used to come up there and see me, you know what I'm saying? We used to be chilling or whatever. So I had everything situated. Like I had all of me Boku clothes off the internet, G-Star, you know, to get fresh. And I just was waiting because um, where I was at the um, the jail I was in, um, that I was getting released from, they don't let you go home at 12.01 at night like the average prison do. You go home at, um, I think it's 10 or 11 in the uh, morning. Oh. So I had to wait an uh, extra 11 hours. So, <laughs> you know, and then he tripping, the um, warden, he tripped him over, I ain't letting you go till you cut your hair. I'm like, damn, man, my people out there. You know what I'm saying? But, um, they wanted you to cut your hair. Yeah, talking about cut it down, Lord. I'm like, man, I've been like this the whole time I've been here. He like, yeah, you gotta cut your hair down, shave and all. I'm like, this man, Lord, this man. So boom, my um, I end up um, when they came, you know, at, um, work release, you could just walk outside, like, you know. So I seen them out there. They had the camera. They walking all in the door. I'm like, man, y'all tripping, man. Y'all can't come here. This a jail. So um, when they let me out, I went to the bar shop, got fresh. It was a good feeling. Took my daughters to the mall. And, um, you know, I just had chill, but I got right back to it, working. Like, I'm probably, like, I've been home probably about four or five months. I'm probably about a hundred and something songs up. And um, I just been working. Like, my homeboys, you know, um, Steve on them, I had told them, like, man, we finna grind, you know. We just in there, yo. Um, BTY, me and him was um, very cool. And I, um, my dog, Feet, they had built a strong relationship, and Feet talked so highly of me. So, young and laid around there and just, you know, ended up hitting me up. While I was in work at least, we used to chop it up every day. So when I touched down, me and him had clicked up hard too. You know, rest in peace to him. And my dog Zoe, he used to come see me too. Rest in peace to Zoe Rilla. Now, um, you said you had gotten some good time. Yeah. So that shaved I, down. I had your, earned it a year. Good time. So that shaved down. Yeah, your, that your, shaved off a year. Your time. Yeah. So how in advance did you know when your final day was gonna be? Or were you surprised? I mean, you get a you get a rap sheet and it tell you when you go home. Okay. Like months, months before you go home. Was that something you kept quiet to yourself, or no shit, no? I ain't gonna lie. My, all my homeboys were sad. Like they like, damn, man, Vic's about to go. I left him a lot of clothes and shit, a lot of um, high, um, high jeans and shit. First person you saw on your day out? With my girl. Only with my girl, Fee. Um, the Uber driver. <laughs> Who else? And uh, young, <laughs> my cousin, young star. Was it the cheap Uber or was it the nice black See, truck? No, it was a nice uh, Escalade truck. Uh -huh. My man ain't know where the fuck he was going in Baton Rouge. I was mad because I was nervous as a bitch. Like, I'm ready to get the where I need to be. And he don't know where nothing at. He driving slow. I'm like, why y'all, man? Y'all tripping. You know For, what I'm saying? First meal you had. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know where I ate. I used to be eating good anyway. I was in work release. Uh, I worked at a, a restaurant. I used, man, I used to eat everything. I so you were already used to. Yeah, I was used to regular. I was used to everything free. in the world except being able to wake up and go to sleep in the world. But I was used to everything else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How soon before you had sex? Shit, I was having sex in work release. <laughs> <laughs> in the car, park a lot of action, you know. I've heard people do that. Yeah, it's real. So it wasn't nothing you were waiting for? No, no. I mean, I, I mean, mean, ain't nothing like laying yeah, down exactly. hugging your girl and not being having to get back and go back to a jail, you know. So I mean, worry it, over I, your I, shoulder and stuff. Yeah, ain't nothing like a back rub from the baby. You mm -hmm. hear me? Now, how hard or easy was it for you to adjust back into the free world society? It wasn't really hard because um, being in jail prepare you for all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted to go get my kids and spend time with them, but you know, now that, that, cause I knew like once I go to grinding with this music, I'm gonna be back back and forth here and everywhere. So I just wanted to spend time with them like as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? So because you did the work release program and uh, you were accustomed to seeing regular people in an everyday free world society, you didn't miss out on the latest iPhone or what? I had an iPhone stuff. 7 in jail. Hmm. I had an iPhone 7, I had two of them. <laughs> uh, what would you need two phones in jail for? I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted one. Now, okay, so nothing shocked you when you left prison? Nah, nothing. I mean, just Baton Rouge do look different. Like, when you get out and go to moving around your city, it looked different, you know. 
but nothing no. nothing crazy shocked nah. you because you were kind of already cussed. Yeah, I was already stuff. accustomed to it nine months in. You were already hip on what the latest music was. Yeah, latest that. music, uh, who mm -hmm. was hot, what was hot, the well, all that. I knew everything. What about the institutionalized feeling? Do you still have that feeling or has it worn off? I don't think I was too though, know, like really like. Because of the work release program and stuff? Yeah, like I mean, I wouldn't, no, I don't think I was too soon. Now somebody watching this, just getting out of prison for their first time, any do's or don'ts adjusting back into society? Anything you would tell somebody? Man, don't go out there hanging with the people that wouldn't there for you. Cause you know, I tried that and um, I got the same results. So don't do that. If they wouldn't there for you, ment I ain't talking about just people that's like taking care of you or whatever. I'm talking about like mentally, you know, cause it all start up here. If you ain't had nobody that was mentally like motivating you or just, you know, wanting to see you do better, don't go out there and hang with them people no more, you know. Cause jail gonna show you like when you ain't there in a the physical form, it's gonna show you who's gonna be there for you. So don't do that, you know. Did you have a good support system since you've been oh, out? Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. My people, they never left my side. You know what I'm saying? Like my dog Fee, my dog Bo. You know what I'm saying? Like man, Bo, we have we have talks that really, you know, outside of rap. You know, it just like just really just keep us grounded and rooted. You know, accountability partners for each other. You know. Now. What would you change, just you know, thinking about your experience in prison, what would you change about the prison system if you could? I know there could be many things, but what would be at the top of your list? Shit, the jail time, man. Like, I feel like we got the worst system of giving time out. Like, um, in other places, like, the time is easy, to, is, is easy to cope with. Like, down here, we got one of the smallest states, but we got the most inmates in the world. I mean, in the U.S., like, so, I mean, doing that, like, condensing that shit, like, you know, everybody don't deserve, like, they getting people, like, drug dealers, like, you know, we getting more time, time for drugs than murderers, like, they giving, you know, like, it's just, like, they profile us wrong, like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like that ain't right, like, the justice system fucked up. Do you think this will ever change in your lifetime? I don't think so, because I think they got, like, when you in jail, you read a lot, you, 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 you go through a lot and you learn a lot, man. They got this shit set up for that. Like, it's set up like that. You know what I'm saying? But why do you think Louisiana, out of all the states, is probably so hard on the time that, how much time they give compared to other states? Uh, I, I'd probably say probably because of the old law we under. Like, they haven't changed the old law. So it's more like a conservative state? Yeah, it's like the, we under the Napoleon law. So it's like, they, they still under that old shit. Family nigga. Like, we got a, well, we got like a 90 what? 93 per, per, uh, conviction rate, so <laughs> it's like shit. That mean shit. Nine <laughs> times ten, you know you going to jail. It's just about when you go take your time and cop out. That's crazy. Shit, yeah. 93. Percent. Even if you ain't do it, like I did not, like I actually apologized to the judge. I I did everything I felt like I should have did to not go to jail for that long, and they still, you know what I'm saying? Like so, it's like no matter what, they gonna do what they want to do. Some people will say. My, uh, the prison system today is a modern, is like modern day slavery. Shit, I've been like slavery, like real talk. Like, they had me working on a road crew. You get $3 a week. You know, you go to work every day, cut grass, just do all type of shit. So it's, it's basically slavery. You know what I'm saying? That's why they tell you don't go to jail. You don't want nobody telling you when to wake up, when to go to sleep, what to do, how you could do it, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's slavery.